happy day to everyone there. Happy day to all my viewers, all my listeners. Thank you all for your support. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the viewing. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate you for the um, feedback I get from you through my in my comment box. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know how best to thank you, but let me just say thank you to you. My words are not enough to say thank you, but I need to say thank you. These same words I'm going to use to say thank you. Even though the words are not enough to say thank you, but I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for the word of advice. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the comments in the comment section. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much. All right. Now into the business of the day. Into the business of the day. And I don't have anything much to say. And uh, what I want to talk about is not something strange or something new. It's just that um, I'll be cognizant of the environment and also of my society. What's going on these days? And um, I think that uh, I just need to drop some lines of words and um, a little short video about this. So wherever you are watching me from, please um, do me a favor to share this video and also to um, just drop a comment. And also, if my video is um, impactful to you, please act on it fast. Please act on it so much fast. Don't, wait, don't just waste time. Don't tell it to tomorrow. Make it today. Yeah, make it today. So, something got me bothered recently. I was in a discussion with one of my friends on the, on the phone. So, I we've been discussing about um, what's happening in society these days. You know, my my friend was in the US. Um, it's in the um, Indianapolis, US. Uh, so, we called, we were discussing, we're talking about um, how it's life in the US, how it's everything around you, Indiana, Indianapolis, and stuff like that. And um, I was trying to ask him that uh, it was not you not chipping. We're now discussing extensively later, you know, from one discussion to another discussion. Um, we're not driving to um, the rate of people single out there, the population of the singles out there, how the singles keep increasing each and every day. And um, I was now like, um, are people not getting married again? Are we saying that there are no? ready guys out there i was saying there are no ready ladies out there i was saying that um i was saying that people are not people is marriage not something people willing to go into again are people tired tired of getting married or maybe some experiences some people have had in their marriages uh, is turning off the singles and going to marriage so we're talking about extensively about so what could be the cause we're just reading it together okay it's gonna say his own maybe this i'm gonna say my home maybe that i'm gonna say this maybe this but we don't we can't actually fathom or design or say this is the actual reason why this is happening we can say but inside me i felt like um, because everybody's after money each day today everybody's after money both the men and the women both the young the old everyone's after money the teenagers are after money the young adults are after money the youth are after money Everybody after money. So I was like, everybody wants to have this money. Everybody wants to have this money. But at the expense of everybody wants to have this money, what are you not missing out in some places, in some aspect of life? Are you not missing out? Okay, after you have achieved or get that money, okay, what is the next thing you want to do? Is the next step you have missed, are you, will you be able to, uh, to meet up in good time? For instance, for instance, let's assume that um, I I decided that um, if I've not got a car, if I've not got a house for myself, I'm not going to get married. And if I've not got a particular a particular amount of money in my bank account, I'm not going to get married. So let's assume also in an assumption that I was able to get a particular certain amount of money in my bank account or what I designed to have, I got it. I was able to give myself a house also. I was able to get myself a car. But... I wasn't able to get myself a wife, not only a wife, I wasn't able to get myself a good wife. As at the time, I said I'm ready to marry now. Now, I wasn't able to get myself a good wife. 
Because a good wife is not just something you just go to market and just pick, the same way you went to market and pick a car. A good wife is not something you just go to the market and say, okay, I want to buy a house, the same way you bought that house. A good wife is someone you have been in, friends, in, in, in friendship with. A good wife is, a, is someone you have been in cordial relationship with. You have been from dating to, 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 to cutting. You date yourself for a while, you started cutting yourself because you feel like, ah, no, I, I, I think we, 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 we will be able to move together. Our ideas are, are, are the same. Our objective seems to be the same. It seems we reason the same way. I think I'll be able to move on with you in life. So if I've been waiting to have a car, have a house, and have a certain amount of money in my bank account before I got married, and I was able to achieve all this good for myself, kudos, good boy, good guy, hard working. <laughs> you, you're doing well for yourself, good. I need to, yeah, give myself some accolade. Yeah, that's it. So after I've given myself some accolade, some kudos to myself, now, let me go and pick the wife. Or pick a guy, or sorry, or pick a lady out there. I can't just pick a lady at random. The same way I pick a car at random. The same way I bought a house at random. I can't just pick a lady to myself just like that. I have to have been in a date with a lady. I have to have been courting with a lady. Which we have spent time together. Which we have spent at least some months to in checking ourselves, as in studying ourselves. Knowing if um, this your character will gonna suit, suit me, knowing if you understand me well, knowing if you know my do's and don'ts, knowing if you can accommodate me, if you can accept me, just trying to know certain things that are important in our lives as an individual. So I can't just go to the market and pick a lady the same way I went to the market to pick a car and the same way I went to, um, to just buy a house to myself. What I'm saying in essence is that now I need to start another phase of life. After I've achieved what I've set myself to achieve, and I need to now start another phase of life. What that phase of life? Making a choice for myself, choice of a wife. Believe you me, if guess not again, this can take another several number of years with you again. It can take another several number of years with you. You can spend years on this. Because you might see this today, you might not see you tomorrow. You might see this today, you might not see you tomorrow. You might not really see what you want because what you have designed in your mind. The same way you have designed to have this car, to have this kind of car, to have this pattern of house. And that same way you have designed to have this pattern of a lady, that pattern of a lady cannot, might not come in, in the way as easy as you think. And once you cannot meet her as easy as you think, you're going to keep yourself waiting. So, add the number of time you have used in acquiring those things you acquired to yourself and now add it to the amount of years you're going to use to wait in getting a, lady, a good lady for yourself. Yes, it's good to wait, but you should have um, do yourself a good thing by being proactive. You should have done yourself a good, a good thing by being proactive. The same way you are striving to make it in life, the same way you're going to have a, a lady beside you. So you're going to strive together. So you strive to get in it. As you are striving in life to get that to meet that target, to meet that goal, find a lady that can reason with you, that can have the same target, the same goal, the same purpose, the same future, the same way you have a good future to yourself. You find a lady that can reason the same way. You set your goal for her, for her. Babe, this is my goal. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. From what you have said and from what you have told her, listen to her get a response see maybe what she's going to reply you with we are lying with what you have designed for yourself and watch her for a little while if she if she, she will be if she's the kind of person you think you can align with you will know if she's not you will know if she is align together which is the best thing once you detect that she is you can align together Online together, she also has something doing. She's not as if she's not doing anything. She also has something doing, fetching her money monthly or fetching her money daily. She has a business fetching her money daily, or she has a work, fetching her money, fetching her money monthly. And you also you have something doing, fetching your money daily or monthly. So what are you waiting for? Why are you wasting your time? 
Don't waste your time any longer. This year, uh, I've, been, I've been hearing it. People have been saying it. People have been echoing it here and there. No grief for anybody. No grief for anybody. No be only anybody. No be only anybody. No grief for yourself. This year, no grief for yourself. The same way, you know the grief for anybody. No grief for yourself too. I've said it to myself. This year, I know the grief for myself. No be only anybody. That is it. So I'm pushing it out to you also this afternoon. Today, no, don't, no grief for yourself. Say no to the being single this year. No, that's enough. That's enough. Enough of that wasted time and wasted years. Yeah, once you can feed yourself daily, and you have something doing, fetching your money daily, fetching your money monthly, and you can feed yourself, you only have a house to yourself, either by rent or by, by ownership. So what are you waiting for? You, are, you still want to have more money, more businesses. No, you're going to have them. You just marry correctly, marry rightly, make the right choice for yourself. Once you can make the right choice for yourself, the best thing you can do for yourself in this life, at this junction, at this point, at this your stage, is for you to just get the right person to live the whole of your life with. Yeah. Just get the right lady out there. Get the right guy out there. Once you can get the right guy for yourself, once you can do yourself that, that singular good to get the right lady for yourself and the right guy for yourself, bros, leave the rest. <laughs> oh, you're thinking, what do I mean? Bros, leave the rest. I tell you, my brother, my sister, leave the rest. My sister, once you can get the right guy for yourself, my brother, once you can get the right lady for yourself, leave the rest. I tell you, what do I mean by the right lady? The one that can reason with you. The one that can, that can hold the home, even if even, 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 even you are away. The one you can both sit down, have a good communication together. On what, 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 are, what are we supposed to do? What next are we supposed to do? Okay, this thing. Can we do it this way? Can we do it that way? Okay, if we do it this way, we're going to get there. If we do it this way, we're going to take a little time, but we're going to get there. Okay, which one is the best? That is, that is what we call good communication. You spend time together, you communicate together, you set your goals together. You set your goals together. Your, your aim and target and your goal for the year, you set it together. Any goal you have for the month, you set it together. This is what we want to do for this month. We are, yeah, it's achievable. What do we have there? Yes, what do, you, what do we have there? What do you have there? Okay, how much do you have there? How much do I have there? Yes, it's, yeah, it's achievable. Yeah, bring this, let me bring this. Let me add this to it. Okay, let me add this to it. Before you know it, you are moving mountains. Yeah, let's go and ask people that are experienced than us. Let's go and ask them. People that have spent years in marriage. People that have spent 30 years, 40 years, 20 years upward in marriage. Let's go and ask them. 15 years, let's go and ask them. How, how are they doing it? There's no logic, there's no logic about it. There's no taboo about, about it. No. No juju about it at all. It's very simple. Understanding. You cannot trade away understanding. The place of understanding cannot be jeopardized. The place of understanding cannot be overemphasized. Yeah. When we, when we say, okay, let's talk, we have to talk. That we have to talk, let's talk. That means we have to talk, we have to talk. Okay, let's find we way around this. That is it. Let's find we way around it. So it's not as if someone will be pulling up, someone will be pulling down. It's not a time of argument. It's not a time of nagging. It's not a time of people that are making it. It's not as if they don't argue. It's not as if they don't quarrel. But these are things that um, they just threw aside. They quarrel. When it comes, they just immediately it, they let it go. They sweep it somewhere and push it in the bin. Quarrel? No, no, no. No time for you here. So it's not as if they don't quarrel, they quarrel. It's not as if they don't argue, they argue. But there are sweet arguments, argument that challenges success. Argument that bring about success, that is what we're talking about. Now, to the ladies out there, to our ladies out there, with due respect, our ladies, with due respect, our ladies, I, I won't take much of your time. So, what am I saying? Please, ladies out there, let me start from here. I know ladies now are now in competition with the guys. They want to achieve what the guys are achieving. They want to do what the guys are doing. Yes, no problem. No one wants to be waiting that let my husband come before I buy this. It's better. It's good. It's good that you find something doing. 
and it's good also that you make yourself busy. It's good that also you also you make money yourself. Not bad. But at the same time, do you know that? There's a time for everything. You're already ripe. You're already on at that stage. You're already at that point of you getting married to someone. You're already at the point of you making choice of life partner to yours for yourself. But at times you just felt like um maybe it's not your time. Procrastination. Mm, I will be serious. I will be. I will be. I will be serious very soon. Let me try and achieve more. Let me try and do more. At this money, let me try and hit more. Okay, I'm in thirty million now. Let me try and hit ten million before the end of the year. Uh, the year runs out again. Let me try and hit more. You are. You are procrastinating. Let the procrastination. Let it stop this year. Let the procrastination stop this year. God has blessed you. Yeah, no problem. Glory to God for that. And kudos to you for all your hard work. Kudos to you for the, for the hard work. But what next do I want you to do for me? This year, I want you to determine that you don't want to remain single any longer this year. It's not that they are not coming. It's not that good, good, good guys are not out there. There are good men out there. There are good guys out there. What you just need to do for me is that you determine, first determine that this year you are getting married. It's not passing you by. You want to leave the, the, the association and the group of, me, of, of, of the singles. Once you have that determination, now the next thing you're going to do for me is that be on the watch, be on the look, be dedicate your time, and also um, be, be, be diligent, be wise. Use all your understanding this time. Channel your wisdom in getting a right man for yourself. Yeah. So that means you have so many things in you to, to, to get um, the right man for yourself. Channel your wisdom, your understanding, your dedication, your time. Channel it to getting a good guy, a good man for yourself. And what do I mean? What do I mean? Also check yourself that what am I doing? What is in me that might not allow guys want to stay with me for long? What am I doing? Check yourself also. Check yourself also. It might be character. It might be spending wise. It might be how you how you how you how you how you spend your how you how you manage fund. How you manage money. Your money management. Your time management. Your priority. Do you set priority for yourself? Are you not? that kind of person that go for ephemeral things all, all the time that wants to go for all the parties around and that want to buy all the latest things around no mind you you cannot always get the latest things because once once you get the latest thing today another latest is yes tomorrow so if you want to keep on getting the latest for yourself that means um i don't think you can have anything to to, to save in your bank account or to anything to, to fall back on so you cannot always get the latest thing but what you can just do for yourself is just to be contented with what you can get for yourself and what you can afford for yourself. Just try to be contented with what you can afford for yourself. That is it. So if really you want to um, leave the association of the singles this year and join the association of the married, then it's very simple. Be dedicated. Dedicate your time. Be determined. Use your wisdom. Use your knowledge. Use everything you have in your capability. And also rebrand yourself. Remove yourself. Check yourself. Check your character. Check everything around you. And also do your rebranding. Rebrand yourself. You too. Rebrand yourself. Not by wearing skimpy, skimpy things. Now that you want to find someone for yourself, it's not the time you need to be wearing revealing clothes, revealing dresses. Yeah. There is a way men look at people, uh, ladies that dress revealing. There is, a, there is a way men look at them or guys look at them. And there is a way guys treat such ladies. I'm telling you. But you just wear something that, um, that, 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 is, that, that is suitable. Something that is not revealing. Something that is beautiful and also smart. And also everything just smart. We can just say everything just smart. Not revealing. Not at this, not negative, not bringing any negative vibe. You understand? I know you understand what I'm saying. I know you understand what I'm saying. 
So once you understand what I'm saying, just do it. Just try and practice it. Just try and practice it. Just try and just, just try it. Let me just, let me just put this into test. Let's see if it's going to work out. And believe me, it's going to work out. It is going to work out. Yeah, you might think, you, know, you might say, uh, is it by dressing? Is it by dressing? Don't, don't mind you. At times, how you dress also determines how, you be, how you're going to be approached. So if you say, is it by dressing? How you dress can determine how you're going to be approached. And how you're going to be approached? <laughs> Babe, it, take, it goes a long way. It goes a long way. So ladies, it goes a long way. How you're going to be approached goes a long way. So how you dress determines how you're going to be approached. So if you have dressed well, that's the first instance. That's the first meeting. That's the first sight, which lasts longer in the, in the mind of the, of the guy, of the man out there. So check yourself. Check your wardrobe. Those ones you need to, you need to throw out. Those ones you need to give out. Give them out. Those ones you need to keep for yourself. Keep them for yourself. Now make sure that you look decent. And also check your, check your speech. Check how you talk. Check how you vibe. Check where you go. Check your environment. Check your, couples, your set of friends. There are so many things you need to check around you. If really you want to leave this, the, the place of single. If really you want to leave the group of being single. There are so many things to check around you. Check your, your, your friend. Check your environment. Check what's going on in your environment. Check if that environment that, that you are even here, that you're even living at, is suitable for you to live, uh, to, to live in. If it's not suitable for you to, to live in, you need to move out of, of, of that environment. You need to move out of, of that environment and find another environment that is suitable, that will be conducive, and that will make people um, see you as someone being decent, someone being decent to, to approach. Someone being decent to say, oh, I want to live with you, I want to date you, and also I want to court you. After courting, okay, let's level marriage. That's it. There's no fear anyway. Marriage is very easy. Cop marriage life is very easy, I must tell you. Very easy. Not tedious. First thing, once you marry your friend, marry someone that understands you, that you both understand each other. You both have the same objective. You both have the same goals. You can reason together at any time, at any point. Someone that has time to dedicate to you. Someone that has, that has time to dedicate to you, to that marriage, to that relationship. Find that kind of person. Yeah, once you have the same, you, you have the same goal, then you can work together. You can achieve much more. You can achieve more once you, once you have the same goal. You have the same mindset. Do you understand? You can achieve more. Yeah, with the same goal, you can achieve more. And when, once you team up as a husband, as a wife, once you team up to be one, your one plus one is now one, no, no longer two. Once you team up, you have the same mindset. Believe you me, you can move mountains. You can achieve more. Those things you think you have been waiting to do, that, you're not, that, that you have not been able to do, but you have been waiting, waiting to do them, that have been keeping you, make, making you to remain single. Once you get married, you can, be, you can begin to achieve them. One after the other. I must tell you, once you set your target and you set your goal, this month you want to achieve this. This year, this is what we want to achieve. You achieve that, the next year you set another goal. You want to achieve this. Before you know it, before you count five, six years, you have, you have achieved a lot. Then you, when you look back, you, oh, you have said, yo, thank God I got married when I got married. And in wasted years, you'll not be able to even remember that you wasted any years because you got married, you married well, and also you have been doing well in your marriage. So you, you, you won't feel like, like you have wasted some years back. Because you married your, your own man, you married your own lady and your own woman. What am I talking about? This year, no grief for yourself. That is it. No grief for anybody, but no grief for yourself. Make sure that you distinct yourself out from the, from, the, from the singles. And make yourself with the marriage. Join the group of the marriage. You have the resources, you can do it. It's not until you have millions. Don't do elaborate wedding. There's nothing there's not there's nothing there. Just do the normal. Make it official. Just do the normal. Just do it the way it's supposed to be done. The little one, make it no, make it effective. Just do the normal thing you're supposed to do. And start living your life. Start living your life. That is it. So don't forget. This year is your year. This year is your year. Don't remain single. Check yourself out. 
you have the resources those money you are wasting on those kind on those things that are not necessary you can channel those money into another thing once you have your family so think about it think about it so if you are watching my video for the first time do me a favor to subscribe so when it's, when it's I post another video, you can be able to see much of my video. So do me a favor to subscribe. Thank you. See you next time on my next video. Thank you. Bye. See you. Cheers, everyone. Thank you.